MoMA Studios are free interactive spaces that seek to give visitors an opportunity to further explore themes in MoMA exhibitions. Their space is geared not just for creating art, but for creating new social relationships that show that museum going isn't just about looking at objects, but about making memorable experiences. Breathe With Me, our spring 2014 MoMA studio, was a series of artist installations and workshops that coincided with Leija Clark's special exhibition, The Abandonment of Art. We felt that Leija Clark's work was suited for the studio because of the level of engagement that it requires. She really emphasizes the idea that a work of art is not just an object itself, but it's making an action come to life. This studio explored art, therapeutic practice, and the ways in which we relate to objects and people through physical encounters, and revealed the resonance Clark's work has had with contemporary artists, such as our studio collaborators. Ricardo Bosbaum led a series of MiU choreographies, games, and exercises in which participants wore soccer jerseys with the word me or you printed in a variety of languages. They explored group dynamics and the relationship between bodies, space, and architecture. After presenting on her project, Needlework, which looks at early cloth gas masks as remnants of an unwritten history of needlework, Allison Smith led us out into the studio space where we provided a whole assortment of materials, linen, different kinds of cotton cloth and grommets and various kinds of shapes and sewing materials with which visitors could create their own masks based on Allison Smith's project. Michelle Groisman led two studio workshops that really challenged our traditional notions of social and physical interaction. Sirvese, or Help Yourself in Portuguese, proposed a group experience that used glasses of water as a vehicle for communication. Participants were invited to attach the glasses to different parts of their body, and through the simple act of pouring water from one participant's glass to another's, explored issues like trust, cooperation, silence, and flow. He also taught us how to play the card game Polvo, which means octopus in Portuguese. Think memory meets twister. Players chose cards featuring images of different body parts and had to put them together either on their own or with the help of others. Surprising and entertaining social and physical connections were made. In Janine Olson's workshop, Touch Can Tell, Senses Can Yell, each participant was first invited by Janine to select a word. Then we were able to choose a selection of materials to express a physical manifestation of how we felt about that word and assigned a set of rules or a score that could be then read and performed by other participants to activate the object that we've given life to throughout the workshop. <laughs> What emerged were new considerations about how we think about language and communication. We also worked with the artist Carlito Carvalosa, who presented an interactive project called Rio, which means river. He based his project on a text written by Ligia Clark called My Sweet River, and on a long strip of fabric he printed the text in both Portuguese and English. Participants read the text through the sculpture garden, and the fabric snaked kind of like a long river through the garden. This created the opportunity for people to participate in a public action and also to have their own private experience reading this text. Every season of MoMA Studio is different, and we have the opportunity each year to renew our curiosity around art, explore a variety of topics, and collaborate with different contemporary artists. Find out more about our programs at moma.org forward slash MoMA Studio.